Hello friends, so far we have been discussing the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Today I am going to discuss the last chemical property of metal that is uh, displacement reaction. Yes. What is meant by displacement reaction? Please listen. A reaction in which a more active element displaces a less active element from a compound is called a displacement reaction. Okay? A reaction in which a more active element displaces a less active element from a compound is called a displacement reaction. Yes. So before understanding this uh, particular statement here, you are supposed to understand what is meant by more active element and less active element? More active element means the element which is comparatively more reactive than the other element. Okay? What is meant by more active element? More active element means what? The element which is comparatively more reactive than the other element. In such reactions, one constituent of uh, the reactant molecule, one constituent of the reactant molecule is replaced uh, by another. Yes? Please listen. For example, here the compound AB. AB is a compound. The compound AB reacts with the, the element C. Okay, C. Okay, C. Here, the more reactive element C takes the place of the less reactive element A. That is here, A is getting displaced and a new compound CB is formed. Yes. Okay. Here, C is much more reactive or more active element than A. Here, C is more reactive than A. Okay, more uh, active element than A. Here, the element C can displace the element A under the condition when both of them are metals or both of them are non-metals. This is the criteria of displacement. Okay, then we can consider an example. Yes, a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution. Okay. Yes. Please, please listen. You can take uh, copper sulfate solution in a beaker. Okay. The solution of copper sulfate in water. Yes, the solution is called aqueous solution. Uh, the reason is that here the solvent is water. Okay, it was copper sulfate solution and the color of the solution is blue. Then we can add zinc granules into this copper sulfate solution. Okay, after adding the metal zinc to copper sulfate solution, what will you observe? Yes. The blue copper sulfate solution, the blue copper sulfate solution turns colorless. The blue copper sulfate solution turns colorless. Yes. Sing reacts with the copper sulfate solution forms Sing sulfate, sing sulfate and copper, sing sulfate and copper, okay here, 
Sing the formula of sing is the symbol of uh, sing is said. Then the formula of copper sulfate is uh, CuSO4 and forms a new compound uh, sing sulfate. Sing sulfate. Okay. And uh, the formula of copper is uh, the symbol of the symbol of uh, copper is uh, Cu. Okay. And uh, the color of the copper sulfate solution is blue and Single sulfate is uh, colorless. Single sulfate is colorless. Okay. Here, the more reactive sink, more reactive sink displaces the less reactive copper from the copper sulfate solution. Here, sink is more reactive. The sink is more reactive than copper. Sink is more reactive than copper. And sink displaces sink displaces copper from copper sulfate solution, and here a new compound is formed. Yes, the new compound is a zinc sulfate. Okay, the zinc sulfate is colorless. Okay, this kind of reactions are called displacement reactions. Okay, then what is meant by displacement reaction? A reaction in which a more reactive metal, a more reactive metal, here the more reactive metal is zinc, a more reactive element, a more reactive element, or, or more active element, more active element displaces a less active element. Here the less active element is copper. Yes, from the compound is called the displacement reaction. Okay, a reaction in which a more active element displaces a less active element from a compound is called a displacement reaction. For example, the more active element zinc can displace the less active element copper from copper sulfate solution. Okay. Okay students, goodbye, study well.